Hey guys, it's me Yanni and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing another monthly grocery haul. I don't like doing these videos back to back, but for the month of November, I'm actually getting my wisdom teeth pulled. I'm getting all four wisdom teeth pulled. So I had to change up my grocery haul for this month. I also had to purchase a lot more food. If you have seen any of my other monthly grocery hauls, you can tell just from looking at this one little shot here that I have a lot more groceries than I usually do and that's because my twin brother is flying in from New York to come and take care of me and I want to make sure there's enough food for both me and him while he's taking care of me for the few days after I have my wisdom teeth extracted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from this side of the table and move all the way over to this side of the table and as you can see, there's something else right there. So let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, okay, let's start at the front. I'm just gonna go through everything and talk about it. Hopefully I can go through everything and hopefully this video goes by quick. So what I did in particular for this month was I went online and looked for a list of groceries I should have for when I have my wisdom teeth pulled. So a lot of these things are geared specifically towards that. And it's also things that would make cooking easy for my brother or like getting meals done easy for my brother since he doesn't live here and I don't want him to have to cook or go through a lot of work to feed both me and him while he's taking care of me. So, the first things I wanna show you guys are the snack packs um, puddings. I forgot how much I loved putting up until I saw them on the list of things you should get from when you're having your wisdom teeth pulled, but I absolutely love pudding, especially the vanilla flavor, but I decided to get vanilla and chocolate. They come in packs of six, and I also decided to get, I think this one here is like butterscotch. My brother loves chocolate and I love vanilla and butterscotch is just a different twist on things. So I got that as well. Hopefully one of, one of us or both of us like the butterscotch as well. I also got some Greek Shobani yogurt in both blueberry and coconut. We're island people, so we love coconut. And I also got some applesauce. I'm not that big of a fan of applesauce, but it was something I ate back in college when I didn't have a lot of money, and it made a great snack. Uh, the next thing I have here is just some original Mrs. Dash seasoning because I needed to get some more seasoning. Um, now going back this way, twist sticks. Now I also had to pick up stuff for my baby, my dog. Um, Sasha and sh this is her favorite treat of all time. I've never seen her react to any other treat the way she does to these twist sticks. These are actually kind of expensive but she loves them. And you get 50 in a pack so they last for over a month if you're someone who only gives your dog one treat a day the way I do. I usually only give her a treat right after she goes to the bathroom outside. Uh, the next thing I got was this Kibbles and Bits dog food for her and I also got a pet the pedigree brand dog food. The reason I have two different dog foods is because sometimes I can tell Sasha gets sick and tired of eating the same food. That's not me deflecting, that's actual fact. So I decided to get two different bags of food for her while her other bag is running out. That way she can taste different things throughout the month. So this Kibbles and Bits actually has um, savory beef and chicken flavors and it's mini bits. And this is roasted chicken rice and vegetable flavor here in the pedigree. The next thing that I got were these Pocky Strawberry, these Pocky Strawberry Covered Biscuit Sticks. Now, oops, I dropped one. Now, it, in high school, uh, some Korean girls introduced this to me, and these taste so good. I was actually surprised that I found them in Walmart. I haven't had these in years, but I saw these, and I was like, oh, I have to have them, and I know my brother would probably more than likely eat them as well. Under that, I have like this, how many paper towels on here? I have this 12 rolls pack of paper towel, the extra big paper towel. I'm not very picky about my paper towel. I just get sick and tired of going back to the store mid-month to buy more paper towel because apparently I use a lot of them. So I got this large pack here and you can't see it. It's covering up most of the table. Like it is huge, so huge. On top of that is of course some Scott extra soft, cushiony and dependably strong quilted paper, um, toilet paper in the 24 rolls. I have a whole bunch of toilet paper in my house, but now that I have another person in the house, I figured I should double up just in case, even though he's a man, but <laughs> I figured I should be prepared. I've said in my last video, I know that for sure, that I love the quilted toilet paper. I just, I love those. I'm just not sure quite yet which brand of quilted toilet paper that I like yet, so I'm trying out the Scott Extra Soft for this month. 
The next thing that I got was actually for my brother. I got him these Milano dark chocolate cookies because I figured he'd want to have some, he'd want to have his own snacks while he's here with me. And I also picked up some Uno cards. As a kid, my brother, my cousin, and I really like to play Uno, so this would be something to do when I'm not passed out. Or I'm hoping, I'm hoping it is. And if um, we don't, it's something I could have for guests. Next thing are, of course, my Equate Flushable Wipes. I got the six pack. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. You know, I love these. And I apparently go through these a lot because I literally only have like one to two packs left. And like I said, with the toilet paper, um, because I'm having a guest, I decided I should probably double up. And next in front of that are these Idahoan creamy potato soup thingies. They're like basically like instant potatoes that you can cook on the stove top. I have five packs. Excuse the like the potato floury powder that's on top of them, but my flour burst while it was in the cart and it got all over it. These are different flavors, of course. This one is creamy potato soup. This one is loaded potato soup. And yeah, those are basically the only two flavors I have. And I only got five of these. The next thing I have are these Starbucks vanilla flavored coffee drinks, frappuccino drinks. I absolutely love these, but I try not to drink so much of them. But like with everything else, my brother is coming, so I doubled up because I know it's probably something he'd like to have. In front of that, I have my Publix Extra Virgin Olive Oil, just in case my brother decides he wants to cook his own meals. In front of that, I have Witch Hazel because I'm running out. Witch Hazel is absolutely amazing, you guys. My dog had something going on with her ear where it looked like it was um, kind of like having its own type of dermatitis. And I just applied a little bit of Witch Hazel twice a day initially. And her ear has started to clear up. This isn't focusing very well, but ah, there we go. Yeah, so this stuff is absolutely amazing. Next on the table are these Ruffy's 13 gallon tall kitchen bags. In my last grocery haul, I showed kitchen bags that were scented. I love scented kitchen bags. So the last bags I got were twist tie bags rather than drawstring bags and they are very inconvenient and they're also a lot flimsier than these bags. I absolutely love those bags. Next to that, I have more instant meals. I have five um, cans of soup. I am under the impression I will rely on cans of soup because I already have some, but I wanted to add some more specifically for myself. I got the flavors cream of chicken and mushroom, which I actually like. And I also got ch good old chicken noodle. And I wanted to try something new, so I picked up chicken tortilla. Behind that, I have more Idaho and instant um, meals, but this is a lot more instant. You can just pop these in the microwave. These are the microwavable buttery home style mashed potatoes. So I picked up five buttery home style um, microwavable mashed potatoes. Behind that is some orange juice for some good old calcium. Behind that are the toilet bowl cleaners with bleach. I love these. The reason I have four is because one is going to be in my kitchen and the other three are going to be in my bathrooms. Next to that is some good old fashioned white distilled vinegar, which does no wrong. It's good for cleaning any surface. I absolutely love distilled vinegar and I was running out. In front of that I have here a another pack of Gatorade. I know my brother will probably like this because what man do you know doesn't like Gatorade? I mean, I'm just saying. This is the low calorie glacier freeze flavor as well. Oh, I completely missed this right here. I picked up some um, sweet baby Ray's hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce. In front here, I have Kraft Cheesy Made Easy 4-Pack, I have two of those. Another instant meal, Kraft Macaroni and Cheese got me through college, it got me through my childhood, it got me through, <laughs> it got me through everything. This is like, this was the instant meal my mother made when she was running low on supplies in the house and she needed to feed her children quickly. And that has never steered me wrong. Next up is this, Next up is this 12 pack of mini Deer Park waters. I think that's the last thing on this table. Yeah. So next up is this 
Dare, 12 pack of Dare Park. Next up is this 12 pack of 8 ounce Dare Park waters. I got this even though I'm someone that likes to boil my water and then put it into a pitcher or vase. I figured getting these waters would make the job of taking care of me much easier for my brother because he'd literally just have to grab a water and hand it to me and let me drink out of it and we can keep the water at room temperature rather than him giving me freezing water because I tend to keep my water in the fridge. So the next thing I have to show you here is this dog bed that I got for my baby Sasha. Dog beds are extremely expensive you guys especially if you have a dog that's medium size to large size but she needs to get her dog bed switched out and I decided I'd start with just one for now and see if she likes it or whatever. Uh, yeah, on to the next thing. That are these crescent rolls. I've moved from the other table because not everything could fit on that table and I wanted to put things in the freezer right away. But next up are these crescent rolls. Man, I love me some crescent rolls and my brother loves bread flour products like that so I know he would love these crescent rolls they're easy to pop out pop in the oven cook and have with a meal so that's why I got them and mostly because I love them <laughs> and the very last thing I have to show you guys is this cooked shrimp peeled divine tail I don't know these are a hundred to hundred and fifty cooked shrimp I got this from Walmart most of my groceries came from Walmart a few of them came from Publix but I got these because my brother is a pescatarian, I think. He only eats fish. At least the last time I checked, he only eats fish. And because um, I won't be able to cook for him and I don't want him to spend a lot of money ordering food, I picked up something that I know would be easy for him to pop on the stove or the oven. I'm not even sure how you cook these things. But it would be a meal catered to him specifically where he doesn't have to order or look for food. So, yeah. This. It's for you, twin brother. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, you guys, that is it for my video. Let me know if you guys like my monthly hauls by giving me a thumbs up. This is a thumb. My thumb looks crazy. By giving me a thumbs up. Also make sure to leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to share this video and subscribe for more videos from me, Yanni. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.